great day to all of you. Thank you for taking time to sit through and listen to my report. Today, I'm going to talk about the appropriateness and alignment of assessment methods to learning outcomes. At the end of this module, you are expected to identify the terms related to appropriateness and alignment of assessment methods to learning outcomes. We will analyze the principles and procedures in identifying learning outcomes, the taxonomy of learning domains, learning targets, and assessment methods. You will analyze basic concepts, determine, and examine different types of assessment methods. Assessment in classroom begins with asking the purpose of assessment. After this asking, what to assess should be the next question to answer. Assessment is a constant cycle of improvement. Uh, data gathering is improving. The goal of assessment, uh, whether in an academic or a program or department, yeah, is a clear conceptualization of intended students' learning outcome. A description of how these measures are assessed and uh, how these outcomes are assessed and measured, and how these results obtained um, from these measures are, and how the results, how these results validate uh, to current practices or point changes uh, in need to improve learning. Missouri State cited four types of assessment cycle, four steps of assessment cycle. Clear define and learning plan outcomes, assess the learning outcomes, analyze the results of outcomes assessment, adjust or improve following the results of the assessment plan. Clearly defined and identify the learning outcomes. Three and five learning outcomes that describe what students should be able to do, that's their abilities, to know there's their knowledge and appreciate. So in step number one, it was clearly stated that the, these learning outcomes uh, should be clearly identified and um, defined. So what is the purpose of identifying them? So according to identifying learning outcomes and selecting assessment tasks, its purpose is to um, express the um, desired result uh, to a particular learning. Step two, select appropriate assessment measures and assess the learning outcomes. Recommended to focus on direct measures of learning. Often than that, the students' uh, levels of performance for each measure uh, is described and assessed with the use of rubrics. Step three, analyze the results of the outcomes assessed so it is important to analyze and report the results of the assessments in a meaningful way. Step four, the last steps, adjust or improve programs following the results of the learning outcomes assessed. This step is critical of the assessment process. The assessment process has failed if the results do not lead to adjustment or improvement in programs. So uh, the said result should be um, utilized to improve in teaching and learning. Assessment of performance, expectations, or learning outcomes. So cognitive, affective, and psychomotor, are the, these are the domains of learning characterized by learning behavior change. So, this a newer version was spearheaded by one of Bloom's former student, Lauren Anderson, and Bloom's uh, original partner, um, Aldrin, uh, Mr. Anderson. Um, the new version, the, the steps change the verb sample for remembering the lowest function to understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and the last and highest function, which is the creating. So this is the new version of Bloom's um, revised contents. So this table might be utilized and um, utilized. You see the levels, the processes, um, action verbs that may be used, for example, remembering, the processes recognizing, or identifying, or recalling, action verbs to define, identify, describe, or label. Affective. 
uh, affective deals with uh, this domain deals with the values, um, the attitude and emotion. So this is a valuing domain. So from the lowest function, which is the receiving, to responding, valuing, organizing, and the last highest function, characterizing. So this is the same with cognitive, uh, the tables, um, the contents, they have levels, processes, action verbs that may be used. For example, receiving, the processes, willingness to attend, the action verbs that may be used, choose, ask, or follow. Psychomotor. Um, this uh, psychomotor focus on the physical and uh, mechanical skills coordination and muscular uh, activities. Levels like observing, the definition is active mental attending of a physical event. Action verbs that may be used, detect, describe, distinguish, or relate. So, type of assessments that categorized uh, selected response, constructed response, teacher observations, student self assessment. I will discuss this in my next slide. Selected response. Teacher commonly used this. Multiple choice consists of stem, which in a form of question or statement. True or false. These are binary choice type. Matching type consists of a set or column of descriptions and words, images, or phrases. Categories of selected response. First, brief constructed response. These categories are required only short responses. Sentence completion, short answer to open-ended question, uh, labeling a diagram, answering a math problem by showing their uh, solution. So this is selected response. Categories of construction response. So this uh, response, students uh, produce their own answer in response to a problem, question, or task. Brief constructed response is a construct uh, is a assessment or oral questioning. Teacher observation. Um, to check on the student's understanding, teachers regularly observe and take anecdotal notes. So this is, usu this is usually done with questioning and oral. In assessing of teaching effectiveness and academic interventions, this assessment can also be used. Strength and weaknesses of individual students and a class as a whole may be revealed through the information gathered from observation. Self student assessment. Students are given to reflect and rate their own judge how well they perform. So the students are the ones who evaluate and track their own progress, their own performance. Self monitoring techniques, activity checklists, self report inventories. Questionnaires or surveys which reveal students' attitudes and beliefs about themselves and others. The last is diaries. Through self-assessments and exercises, students are provided with opportunity to reflect on their performance, monitor their progress and learning, and motivate them to do well. These are the type of instructional learning targets. Knowledge targets, which refers to a mastery a constructed response, uh, pencil and paper a test, reasoning targets um, involved in highly thinking skills. So typically the students who are genius in solving word mathematics problem. Skills target, so skill targets mostly performance, um, assessment of performance are um, superior in these methods. Product targets, so Observation can be used to inspect, watch uh, what, what the students um, bring to the, to the school. Effective, this refers to um, attitude to interest students manifest. Instructional learning targets, so students will be able to determine the main idea of the text, so the type of learning instructional targets, the knowledge, the students will be able to explain verbally and in writing how details in text support the main idea. So it's still knowledge. And the students will be able to summarize the text verbally and in writing. So the type of learning instructional targets is the reasoning and product or written summary. 
So that's my lesson for this week. Thank you so much. Have, uh, have a good day, everyone. Till next week, keep safe.